Graham, good morning. Many thanks for the efforts you're making on my behalf to get this resolved. Thought I'd do a quick um, additional video just to catch up on the things that you were suggesting in your email. So this is the 50mm lens on the camera. Um, this is the silver uh, locking button that you were discussing. So it's, it's definitively clicking out and is in place. That's fine. Um, now, if I use the camera on full manual with a small aperture, sorry, yeah, small aperture, um, it sort of works. So, oh, yeah, there you go. It takes a bit of time. So this is full manual. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Full manual, 1000 shutter speed and uh, f22. Um, uh, it does work, but a bit slow. <coughs> f11 sort of works, but if I go down to, oh no, I happen to be on F4 here, it catches and then it can't get any further, and the only way that it ultimately releases is if I push in the button, twist the lens, and as I pull the lens away, you can hear the shutter releases. So without the lens, then it's, it's fine. And similarly, if I pop the uh, F135 lens that you sold me, um, and go to a wide aperture, this f2.8, it's totally fine. So something is occurring with the lens. Now the only thing that I can see looking at the bottom of the lens is, is that uh, this piece here is quite a bit larger than the equivalent on either this or the 28mm um, lens that I have. So I don't know. I don't know if that's a design issue with the lens or um, or what, but it, 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 it's not working. So I guess the likelihood is that the problem is with the lens rather than with the camera and therefore I should just send the lens back. But um, I don't want to get that wrong because it's nice. You know, it seems a really good lens. It's, it moves very smoothly. I haven't got the pictures back yet, but I'm guessing when it was working, it was giving me good images. Um, so I don't want to do the wrong thing. Um, equally, if there's a problem with the body, and I mean, it's, you know, it's, a, it's an old camera, it's in reasonable state, but it, it hasn't been used for a long time. I mean, you can see that it's, there's a little bit of, uh, uh, I don't know what you'd call that, sort of mould in here. So it might make sense for a whole new body. You know, which is not ruinously expensive, I could definitely do that, but then um, I might still end up with dodgy lens. So, we need a way forward. Um, I guess one possibility, I'm just trying to get my head in this, one possibility might be to, um, to uh, buy a new body from you, <clears throat> and then uh, see how we got on. So test it with a new body, uh, and if that solves the problem, great. And then I'll have to think about what I might want to do with my old body. Um, alternatively, just um, ideally buy a new f1.4 lens from you if you have such a thing. Or just do a straight swap for this one. Anyway, I'd value your thoughts. Um, uh, let me know what you think would be the best way forwards. Really appreciate it, Graham. Thanks.